What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Ultimate Autographs Live Break page. Donnie Rollins here. Garrett Campbell Donnie, what's is up? Hey, Gary, all the way over there. Hello, everyone. We are working on getting Garrett on camera in the near future. We'll get there. But uh, right now, Garrett's taking like the producer role for tonight. He is in charge of posting boxes, making sure the lists are correct. So if anything goes wrong, make sure to uh, yell, at, yell at Garrett. Uh, it's his. It's his fault. Um, but guys, thank you for joining us here on the Ultimate Autographs Live Break page. Do you know me? Hey, what's up, Gabriel? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. That is Chris's son, Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel, what's up? What's up, Gabe? Good to see you, man. Uh, I'd spend thousands if these were random boxes and did more card breaks. Okay, great. They are great random feedback. boxes. Uh, random in terms of, I think, other, like, not, uh, I, don't, I don't know, actually. I'm trying to figure it out, but... But we do more. We do. We do post plenty of card breaks. We'll have more, uh, um, as in uh, North Repack. Okay, so a separate. Well, I understand that. I understand that. Oh, we gotta. We gotta send that guy an email bag. What's up, Evan? Shake down, Nate. How's everybody doing? Let's uh. Let's get into our our dice roll for tonight. Dice roll for tonight. The the rules of the of the, of the break room state that uh, it's got to be a six or higher. Six or higher on the dice roll. We got a five and a two. That's going to make a seven. Good job on the math, guys. That's going to be a seven. Five and two, seven. Good job. Smart guy. Uh, you had me email you, but never... Okay, cool. I got to get back and, and do that for sure. I'll definitely make sure I reply to you. D Jason, Charles says we're doing a stimulus series break. <laughs> uh, it hasn't hit my account yet, so... Yeah, I haven't got one. I haven't um, got one either. So then after once it hits our accounts, then yes. Yeah. That, that's got, fair. I got one. That's fair. We got uh, seven... Seven on the dice roll. Let's do it. We got box number 11 to start. Box number 11 to start the break. Bum, 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 bum. Seven on the dice roll. Box number 11 for Platinum Helmet Break. This is Go Tay Go Big Headliner being Devontae Adams. Uh, Speed Authentic, I believe, which is really cool. That is correct. Uh, Devontae Adams doesn't have an actual nickname, so I went to his... Uh personal apparel site and he's got a bunch of shirts that say go take out that's cool so that's where i came up with the name it's a great name thank you you did a good job what's up thomas Try my best. kevin finn how's everybody doing how's everybody feeling we had box number 11 box number 11 let's do it guys good luck and here we go hex lumpkin says come on tyreek Come on, Tyree. Let's see what our first hit of the night's gonna be. Ooh, good start. Good start to the night. That's lodged in there pretty deep. We got a Beckett COA there. And our hit is going to the NFC West. It is the old miss. Product, Mr. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf going to the NFC West and taking that is Craig Miller. Craig Miller, beautiful hit, man. DK Metcalf, speed authentic. There we go. The headliner hit. Headliner hit. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, we have Adam T says, first timer here, can I get a rundown on prices and working? Uh, absolutely, Adam. So we have uh, platinum helmets for tonight. Those are 53 per spot. Uh, 53 per spot for the platinum helmet, full size. Everything is going to be an authentic helmet coming out of that series. And then we have an autographed jersey series, which is 22 per spot. 22 per spot on the autographed jersey series are complete NFL jerseys. DK Metcalf, Speed Pro, break one. Uh, Charles Schmidt says, what's the headliners in this series? We have Devontae Adams. D DK Metcalf was a headliner. We pulled him in box Tyreek. number one, Tyreek Hill. Deion Sanders, Florida Seminoles. There we go. And uh, right. for some reason, I think it's another receiver. Uh, Adam says, spots are divisions. That is correct. All the breaks that we're doing tonight are NFL divisional breaks. Some NFL divisional breaks for tonight. All right, so we did box number 11. We got a jersey break. 
Jersey Break, Justin, Jennifer, Justin, Nathan, Brandon, James, Scott Snyder, and Christopher Stanhope. First order for Jennifer Dean. Jennifer, thank you for joining us. See what we can do for your first time ever playing in the UA Live Break Room. Let's get two box numbers going for our Jersey Breaks. Ryan Dees says, dang, right out, the, right out of the gate. That's true. Right out of the gate, Mr. DK Metcalf. Speed, authentic, and a good start to hit a headliner pull in break number one. Let's see what we could do for jersey break number one. Jersey break number one. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Donnie. How's it going? Garrett's right over there, guys. You can see me. We're, we're kind of like, me. we're remodeling the studio here. So uh, we... We should put a uh, studio tour. Studio YouTube. tour. That'd be cool. It's kind of small. Bro. No, it'd be, it'd be like 12 second video. It's cool. All right. Like a crib. Like a crib. Oh, we do an MTV crib style if we had to. Uh, Adam says, three spots on the next helmet break. What is the PayPal? Adam, great question. Uh, you can actually purchase your spots over at ultimateautographs.com in the UA Live Break tab. Three spots on the next helmet break for Adam. 56, or 46 and 52. Double jersey box break. <clears throat> 46, 52, let's do it. Ultimateautographs.com in the UA Live Breaks tab is where we have our breaks listed. Uh, Evan says, Donnie, do you ever do triple or quad breaks, or is the highest only ever double? No, we've done octos. We've done uh, some triples, some quads. We've done uh, some octo breaks where we have eight boxes in the break. That's a, I have. That's I a Garrett Donnie. Campbell special. Donnie though. doesn't do that normally. JSA COA. First jersey of the night is headed out to the NFC North. It is Iron Mike Ditka. Nice. Or Watch. or it's uh, another nickname of. This is this is Mike Ditka. What's another one of his nicknames, Garrett? Couldn't even. Mike Ditka. I don't know. Hurricane Mike. I never heard that. I think a Hurricane Mike is another one. That's a nice hit. You came up with that your own. No, it's from the it's from the. Uh, what? Uh, Christopher. That's from the Chris Farley SNL thing. More. Four, one, two, seven, one. Nice little Chicago Bears hit for Chris. NFC North in the jerseys. Caught up in the middle of this. A little Tuesday night break action. Tuesday night breaks. Uh, Forte, Forte Inch Ditka was a popular fantasy football team <laughs> name. I like that. Forte Inch Ditka. That's good because it hints at appropriate, inappropriate, you know? It's hilarious. Like, kiss my butt kiss. Kiss my butt kiss. Yeah, that's good. Or like, uh, what was that say? River Camper Ditka? I've never heard of that in my life. That does not sound <laughs> pleasant at all. Chris, good hit. 52. Two girlies, one cup. <laughs> also happy Aaron Rodgers Tuesday. Oh, that is true. Today is Aaron Rodgers Tuesday on the Pat McAfee Show. Packers got a first round bye. Dude, two girlies, one cup is a hilarious fantasy football thing. You just have to make sure you get Taj Gurley or else it's... Yeah, if you have Gurley... Wait, but if you don't have Gurley, you kind of... Oh, this is a good hit, yeah. JSA COA, we're going to the NFC South for the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, Mr. Michael Vick. This is a headliner in a couple of our series. It's a headliner in this series. Is it a headliner in this one? It is. Should be. It's one of the coolest jerseys in my opinion. I love this one. Love that it. Little Michael Vick. Going to Justin Deem. Justin, good hit, dude. Jersey break number one. Justin, let me know if you'd like to keep that around and we can frame it for you. 
be a really cool one to frame. If I'm not mistaken, someone did get a fr uh, a framed Vic jersey. I would. Yeah, for sure. If I got it a break, 22 bucks a spot to get a uh, uh, get a framed or a Vic jersey and then have it framed. Vic was on the herd yesterday. His background is a completely empty office. <laughs> Why? Why would he make that his background? Well, I'm minimalistic. <laughs> what? All he needs is a computer. I guarantee he's got a sick setup, dude. He probably does. All right, let's do uh, Go Take Go, number two. Platinum Helmet Series. Platinum Helmet Series. Go Take Go. Let's pull another headliner. Someone said he was between dog fights. I think he's past that now. Thank you. Thank you. We hope he's past that. I think he's uh, worth worth more than. Yeah, true. Dog fighting. Very true. But the joke will continue. The joke will continue. Which is whatever. Do we have a box number? Charles Schmitz says number eight. Forty-six. 52. I have a sweet Fitz Magic Silver Orange Prism uh, to 149 to fill in your frame. That's a cool idea. It's cool to put cards in frames, I think. I like doing this. Here, get a frame Trubisky jersey. I'll wait for it to go on sale. I'm a <laughs> member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Number eight. <laughs> Garrett thinks that Mitch Trubisky is going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler very soon. All right, the only reason I say that is because I was playing franchise mode, and I got to the 2022 season, and Mitch Trubisky was the starting quarterback for the Steelers. <laughs> so that's the only reason I'm saying it. There's no, so there's a conspiracy? There's no physical evidence. There's no actual evidence. So it's just, Madden? Madden knows better? Madden knows better, yeah. I mean, the prediction predicted the Bears are going to win the Super Bowl, so, I mean, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Back at COA. Back at COA, next hit is a San Francisco 49er. The NFC West starts off hot for tonight. Fred Warner. Fred Warner going to Paul Chapman. There you go, Paul. Nice hit, Paul. Fred Warner. Defensive player. He's a stud too, isn't he? Uh, yeah. I think he's a. Doesn't have quite as good of stats as Roquan Smith, but yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> Fred Warner's a Pro Bowler. Uh, pro Bowl linebacker. I mean, you can you can have you can have all of San Francisco vote for Fred Warner. It's fine. It's cool. People well, are wrong, but well, it's fine. I'm not mad about it. Sounds like you're a little mad about it. Garrett's an angry elf over there. It's fine. Nice hit, Paul. Congrats, dude. Contest more than anything. They're not even playing in a real Pro Bowl. They're playing Madden. It's not that. It's whatever. The thing I'm mad about is him not being an All-Pro more than not being a Pro. That's Bowl. true. Should have been an All-Pro. That's true. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Paul says, "I'll take it." Tom Collins. Tom Collins is actually a alcoholic beverage. That's the name of an alcoholic beverage. To Tom Collins. Zero idea about that. And uh, there's also something called a Collins glass, where you put a Tom Collins in. There you go. There's your, there's your bartender oh, tidbit of the day. Man, I forgot <laughs> you, were, you got into went bartending school. I did. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, I did nothing with it. Did absolutely nothing with it. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Time will come. Uh, Shakedown Nate says, Garrett still hasn't got a haircut, hence him hiding and producing. Shaved my beard today. You shaved your beard today? I did. It, still looks, it still looks like you have a beard, though. I know, but I shaved it. Tom I did get a haircut before Christmas. I knew I was right, Tom. I'm proud of myself for knowing that. All right. Whatever, man. <sighs> Shakedown Nate says, I never saw a beard. Never saw a beard on you, Garrett. I mean, you've had a beard since I've known you. He's cheating. Big old big cabin right there. <laughs> Big time cat. Complete jersey number two if you guys would like to give me a box number. Who goes into a Tom Collins? I gotta look that up. Yeah, I don't I, I think I remember, but I don't want to be wrong. I think it's 
Vaughn. Someone didn't pay attention very well. I passed, didn't I? I? I don't actually know if you did. You just told me you went to gin, marketing school. Gin, lemon juice, and simple syrup. I don't know if you actually passed. I did pass. Mm. Then you top with club soda and you garnish. Thank you to differ in the satellite picture. With a lemon wedge. Uh, let's do break number four for Go Take Go, a double. Aye, aye, Captain. Post a double for Go Take Go number four, Garrett. Yes, sir. Uh, Evan Fix says, I got my girlfriend to do her first break on the second double jersey, so keep sending the love when it comes up, Don. You got it, Evan. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Whiskers don't count. Do you guys sell the helmet bags? We actually do not. We actually do not sell helmet bags. Who said whiskers don't count? Shake down Nate. Nate, I had a full beard, brother. He's... You go back and look at the breaks, man. I had a full beard. I grew that sucker out for like a month and a half. No respect. Man, I don't know why you're getting so angry about because it. Because I think I did a good job on my beard, and then people are saying, eh, they don't think you had a beard. They didn't even recognize you had a beard. Saying, eh, they don't think you had a beard. He can hear you pretty good, too, by the way. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. He's angry, guys. I'm not angry. Nate, you went and ticked off Garrett. I'm not, I'm not angry. It's just... Uh, Don't mess with Garrett. Uh, so someone gets blocked. I, don't know. I was on here for a, a week, multiple breaks, I had a beard. So... Where? Are you looking at the chat, too? Yeah, I'm looking at the break. Oh. It's a little bit delayed, but I can see the chat, at least. Box 41. 41. All right. I don't know what that means. Chin pubes. All right, here we go. Okay. I didn't actually have a beard. I just, it's just facial hair on my face. That's the double. They mean the same thing. I'm worked out for about it now. Why are you so angry, man? Oh, man. Nate, you really got in Garrett's head over there. Dang it. Jersey break two, back at COA. There's a rocket tonight in the jersey. We got ourselves a 2020. Hall of Fame are pretty cool. Some fresh ink right there. Hall of Fame 20. Guy who was on the 1985 Bears Super Bowl team, an offensive lineman. Nate, I love you too. Thank you. I feel like you lied there. You didn't mean that. What? I do. You didn't mean that when you said it right there. It didn't it? Didn't feel it didn't feel authentic. Jumbo Jim Covert. Jimbo Covert. Going to Andrew. Uh, Jared says, I've purchased the helmet, and I think I forgot to click check off the library. Oh, okay, Jared. I'm looking at the orders right now. Jared, Garrett is checking on the orders right now. Garrett, I got a little bit of beef with United. The airlines? The airlines. <coughs> okay. I'm I just, ears. I just flew from Chicago O'Hare to, was it United or was it, no, it's United. You better get your beats right, man. I know. This is going to be on the internet. And yeah. We need this for the port. <laughs> uh, I just flew from Chicago here to, to Orlando. And I'll tell you what, there was a movie on the flight named, like, The Personal Life of David Copperfield. Okay. Now, do you know the name David Copperfield off the top of your head? He's the magician. He's the magician, right? That's correct. Yeah, so I thought... So I thought it was. I thought it was the famous magician. Okay? Watched a lot of the movie. <laughs> got to the end of the movie. Not one magic trick. What? It was about a different David Copperfield. Okay. Apparently there's a writer named David Copperfield. Yeah, you got bamboozled over there. I was so mad. I bet. I bet. I was so unbelievably that's like, mad. That's like the only time you should pay for playing Wi-Fi is just to check to make sure it's the right David Copperfield. I was like, where's the magic at? However, so are you are you going to tell me that his his book making is his writing wasn't magical enough for you? No, absolutely not. What what kind of work writing did does this I don't even know. this David Copperfield do? Yeah, I saw I like that you quoted that. That is not the right David Copperfield. But okay, okay. so what kind of writing? I don't know. It didn't really say like 
He just kind of went through his life, like his... I don't know if you guys have seen the movie. If anybody here has seen the movie, The Personal Life of David Copperfield... Sorry. But I was I was big mad on the plane. Because I had seen... I've seen David Copperfield in real life. I don't know if you knew that. I uh, know. We don't talk about David Copperfield. You like, you like magic like that? I love magic. Dude, dude. My, have you seen... You, I'm assuming you've seen Now You See Me. Is that with Steve Carell? No. That's with... Uh, that's got... Uh, uh, freaking... Oh my god. Uh, talk about... Give me a second. Give me a second. I'll Alright, it's got, it's got, it's got Jesse uh, Eisenberg, Eisenberg, Mike Ruffalo, Mark Ruffalo, Mark Ruffalo Woody, come on. Uh, Harrelson, and some other, uh, some other people. Uh, what's the name? Dave Franco. Love I Dave think Franco. you've seen it. I don't think I've seen it, but I know. Alright, we're going to have to watch it then. JSACOA? It? it is, um... Look at this. It is pretty exciting. Pretty cool here. I love this. USC. Nice. NFC West. Pretty cool. Matt Leinert. Matt Leinert. Matt Leiner going to the NFC West for James S. Anyway, the premise of the movie... Oh, oh, oh. It's a novel. It's a, it's a remake of a Charles Dickens novel. Oh. Well, I was still mad about it. We got some smart people in the chat. I wanted a damn magic trick. Any Bears fans in here? Me. Garrett Campbell. I am. Don Rollins. Hit me up on... At 47 Bearspan47 at gmail. Find Garrett on Omegle. <laughs> I don't have it. Chat roulette. <laughs> I used to do that. I was in high school. So you had a light? Nice. Good for you, man. Nice hit for you, James. That is a Arizona Cardinals hit. His college item is the uh, longest tenure in his career. Longest tenure of his career. Congrats on hiring 423SUD. What's up, Gabe? Congrats on hiring 423SUD. What do you mean, Gabe? What's going on? Thank you. Our best. <laughs> if we hired anybody, your your dad probably helped with that. Congrats on hiring 423 subs. <laughs> Twenty-five and forty. Let's do it. Twenty-five and forty. Evan, thank you for calling out box numbers. I appreciate it. First order for Andrea Cooley. Andrea, thank you for jumping in and joining us here in the Ultimate Autographs live breaks. Twenty-five and forty. Uh, let's get it, Donnie. Do it for Andrea. Okay. Evan says do it for Andrea. Try. Adrian! I did it! I don't know why I thought about that. I don't know either. <laughs> kind of weird. A little bit. Oh my goodness. J S A C O oh, A, hey, look at this, Garrett. Three straight Chicago Bears. Oh, it, it's gonna be the complete helmet all over again when I pull Three it. straight bears! Four in a row. This goes to Nathan M. That's a headliner hit. Headliner hit. Two headliners already. Two headliners tonight. Yeah, Mike Vick now. Mike Singletary. Can't go wrong with Mike Singletary. Nathan, nice hit, dude. J. Deem says, and I won't get NFC North at all. Yeah, Justin uh, Justin was looking for this one. Justin, yeah, you could try to trade for it. Let Nathan know what you've got available. Maybe you guys can work out a trade. I get a double jersey up here shortly. Say it again? I said I'm going to get a double jersey up shortly. Well, thank you, Garrett. No problem. This is so much better than me being in the back room. I know, you know, like, yeah. straight up what's gonna, go, what's gonna go down. Everyone knows. Everyone can know in advance. Kareem. Everyone has to ask any questions when things are gonna get posted. I got you. I got this! 
Uh, anyone want to get in on a Panini Prism tonight? We can try that. JSA COA! Nice! I just talked about this guy today, actually, with another friend of mine. Auburn defensive lineman. Had a pretty good season. Didn't put up crazy stats, but he's a good guy on the line. For like four or five weeks in, he, he led the league in, the, in tackles for loss. Derek Brown. Fun fact. Derek Brown, rookie out of Auburn. I think it was the sixth pick overall. Uh, Bill Pettit says the disembodied Garrett off cam is very helpful. <laughs> I agree with that. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Garrett, you're helpful. I try my best. I really do. I really try and I know. provide the best. I know you do. Tomorrow's going to be a big day in the live break room. Tomorrow we have two breaks. Should have two new series posting as well. Looking at our uh, second ever college full-size helmet series. And also a uh, another mini helmet series. However, that mini helmet series is loaded. Playmaker. It's called the Playmaker Mini Helmet Series. It is loaded up. Oh, we've hit 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Let's go. Big, big moment, big moment. Woo! I want to make that thing. I like it. I like it a lot. That goes to Steve Myers in the NFC South. Steve Myers, NFC South, the Panthers currently reside there. Do you know something that we don't? Are they going to move divisions? Because I think they should. I've been thinking about it a lot. Uh, I think the Why? Panthers should be in the in the East, the NFC East, and the Cowboys should be in the NFC South. Thank you. That makes a lot of sense. And thanks for joining my TED Talk. <laughs> right? Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. There's a few teams that can, that can switch based on where they are. We got 37. We got 42 and 45. I had one for the AFC, but I have to I have to rethink about it. I have to remember it. But you can do some movement. Oh yeah. Uh you move you put you put Miami in the in the AFC South and you put the Colts in the AFC North. And then you put the you put the Ravens in the uh, AFC East. It would really mess up some some rivalries, but it's more geographically correct. What do you think about that? Do you want me to say it again? Because I don't think you were paying attention. You mean the thing you just said that I didn't really hear? Yeah, it's cool. You want me to say it again? You heard the first. You heard the NFC North. Or the NFC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. No way. I was zoned in to doing the right amount of randoms, dude. Uh -huh. Get out of my head for a second. Uh, Garrett. Yep. Guys, just heads up. Garrett has a great idea. Nah, it's, it's not that great of an idea. I do want people to understand. Go ahead, Garrett. So, if the uh, AFC decided to move their divisions around, you could put the you could put the Dolphins in the AFC South, the Colts in the AFC North, and the Ravens in the AFC East. Ah. Yeah. But what about the what about the Panthers? They're in the NFC. Yeah, but you said you want to move them too. Yeah, so they're moving to the. They're moving to the NFC East, and okay. the Cowboys are moving to the NFC, NFC South. South. I like that. I, just... I like that. That means the Panthers would win the division every year because the East is trash. Jared makes a good point. Would make rivalries better uh, if they played once a year? I think yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. I kind of look forward to the Steelers. Like, if the Steelers had to play the Browns again, that would be cool. I feel like it would be a bloodbath, kind of. Corvette, Corvette. If you guys don't know the reference of what the Corvette Corvette thing, it is a it is a TikTok craze. It's a song that Juju Smith Schuster did a dance to. And then they got beat up. So then the Browns could dance to it in the locker room after they clapped them. Headliner magic tonight on Tuesday night. Let's go! One of the hardest hitting linebackers in the league. <laughs> David Schaffer. <laughs> Joe Montana. I broke my leg. <laughs> broke his leg. Broke his leg. Let's go, man. NFC 
C West for David. <laughs> Did I say it? David was that uh, Bensley four one two nine nine. Nice hit, David. Play Jersey four. Woo! Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> Which we can take time dance. I don't know how to do the dance, but I yeah. can learn. I can learn quick. It's not that. It's not terrible. You know how to do it, Garrett? I don't know how to do it, but I I, I remember Garrett. Juju, what? I don't know how to do it. You know you have to put your money where your mouth is. I don't know how to do it. I'm just saying I. Or I remember Juju doing it. I do. No, follow, no, he, you're right. You're I follow right. Juju on TikTok, so He's, I do see his TikToks quite a bit. Yep. Even and uh, another guy is Chase Claypool. Yeah. yeah. Who we talked about before the show started. He's kind of annoying. Great, great player. Great player, but definitely. Um, Here we go. David is pumped. David, thank you, man. Congrats, David. If you want us to hold on to that and uh, get it in a frame, please look. Look at that. David yeah. wants it framed. We got it. Woo! There you go, David. Twenty-two bucks. Joe Montana autographed jersey. Slight. But hold. Work. For. Slight. Work. Framing. Slight. Work. Nice hit, David. Congrats, dude. And thank you for uh, doing the framing via pro framing. Good old Sugar Shane. Don't call him Sugar Shane, though. He told me personally he doesn't like that. I didn't know that. I don't call you. Call him Sugar Shane. I just call every Shane Sugar Shane. He doesn't like it. No, I guess he does not. I guess that's understandable. I mean, I would like it. Grayson says he had a Claypool flex the other day, but don't know how I feel about him. Uh, he's a great player. He's like almost too active on social media. Yeah, he needs to focus. He did sign with Jordan Brand, so I um. Oh. Yeah, he did. So I appreciate. Shane's I in the cool. chat. Shane, hey, what's up, dude? David, I cannot wait to frame it for you. Shane, we'll get all of David's. Uh, information for you, and we'll have it on your desk tomorrow. Sugar Shane is perfect, actually, Garrett. So, remember when you told me that he didn't like to be called Sugar Shane? You just said that. No, he said it's perfect. You just told me that he doesn't... No, you said, Donnie, no. this is Garrett speaking. He doesn't okay. like to be called Sugar Shane. That is hilarious, because I guarantee you, when this is done, I'm going to show you on tape that you said that Shane told you that he doesn't like being called Sugar Shane. I would call you a liar. You can't. I ain't calling you a truther. There's, there's film, bro. Yeah, you studied film, bro. <laughs> Goof, dude. What a goofy goober. Uh, Evan says Steelers need to force Ben out to pasture, cut Juju, and either Tomlin to fix that culture, or fire him and get someone who will. Can't fire Tomlin. I would. I would not fire Tomlin. Tomlin is fantastic. Um, I don't think the culture. I think that they're in a in different generation than when he was winning Super Bowls. Look at Shane's getting a lot of love in the chat right now. Uh, a lot of love for Shane in the chat. Love to see it, man. Shane deserves it. Agreed. Guy does some crazy work. Oh! That reminds oh, you me. You gotta check. You gotta check. Oh, you gotta check. The importance. She hit it. We are waiting on a go take go number four, which is a double box break. One spot left. Yeah, it just filled up. And it just filled up. It just filled up, I. Let me just double check that I... Uh, okay, we're good. I may have just done something crazy. Garrett, let's see. Oh, boy. Ooh, ooh. 23 minutes left. Oh, man. Jared, did you find Jared's personal as well? He just asked. Um, I did not. It's not. It didn't come up. I'll double check to make sure that I'm not in just today's breaks. He's letting players do TikTok dances on fourth quarter drives, Garrett. <laughs> You're down by like 25 points. I, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> Jared, the, Jared the I don't see your uh, Jared. I don't see your personal. Jared, we do not see a personal for you, man. You want to give me your order number? We can look up the order number. Uh, Evan says the TikTok e boys are running the team <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> I think the term e boy is hilarious. Oh, Nine oh, oh, and fourteen. All I, gotta, all I gotta say is he was TikTok dancing when they were eleven and zero. He was. And then he's the scapegoat. I think that's kind of silly. He is the definition of like keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I, I've always, I've been a fan of Juju since he was a senior in, in college. At uh, uh, USC. At USC. I, I always thought he was an entertaining player. 
and I, I don't, you know, you don't have to do it 100% of the time. I think, I think dancing on the logo was a little bit much, but, you know, they did win 11 games in a row while he was TikTok dancing and Corvetting, Corvetting. <laughs> and then you lose one game and the media kind of goes off. The media, I'm pretty sure if you go to ESPN on their on their Instagram page, they're posting something about Juju Almost every getting day. lit before, you know, getting hyped before the game. Yep, that's true. And now and then as soon as it comes out that oh, now they're lost, Juju's the problem. That's where I think is a little bit. Yeah! Love that energy. Yeah, man. I I'm in Woo! Back in COA! No, no, no. He said apparently you need to hit complete order. Like, he didn't ever complete Oh, it. well, I, ju uh, uh, I just got it. Look at that. Dallas got your person. Cowboys! Tony Dorsett! One of the best running backs of all time going to Tyler Hammerman. Actually, Tyler is a good... Tyler's a good person to ask about this because he's a Steelers fan. Tyler, great hit, though. 4-1-3-1-3. What's... What does Pittsburgh need to do in the offseason, Tyler? You tell me. <clears throat> Tyler, great hit. Tony Dorsett, pro line. Beautiful. Someone said Mitchell doesn't even know how to use a Blackberry. <laughs> I believe he does. <laughs> I would argue that he does know how to use a Blackberry. <laughs> That's my opinion, though. He's not my quarterback, but I would. He also, is for now, still. I would bet that he. Watch, he's gonna sound like a four-year max deal. With the Bears. Yeah. And then I get not resigning Allen Robinson. Might as well, I guess. Allen Robinson's gone. He is. I, I already saw him like some tweets, so. Oh no. Well, we saw Anthony Miller do that earlier in the year. Well, he, he should be gone. Not he did go anyway. Not because he's good. Because he's silly. This one's really cool too. It hurts my heart because. JSA COA, helmet number two. I was rooting for you. Boom. I like this helmet a lot, man. Hall of Fame class of 1991 for the AFC South. AFC Fire. South, that goes to Richard Rolf. And that is an Earl Campbell. Yeah. Earl Campbell, Houston Oilers throwback pro line. Uh, do you want a, a double or, or a single for this next go take out, Chief? Let's do another single. Exactly. Uh, he said Juju did his job. Cut Connor. Draft running back or Kyle Trask in the first. If you're looking at a depends so, on the team's mentality. Are we are we are we getting rid of Juju? Or are we re-signing? Nah, Juju? Juju's there to stay, man. Well, no, this is his contract year. Juju's gonna re-sign. Okay. Juju's gonna re-sign. Claypool right, will be around Connor. for three years. So Billy, Sna I would I would say that you cut Connor and then you pick up. You get, oh, um, Billy, Benny Snell. I, I would I would get, what's his name? Um, McFarland? Oh, give me a second. Trey Sermon? No, the Alabama running back. Oh, Devon, 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 nope. Nope. <sighs> Do you think he'll fall that low? I don't think so. I don't think, you think he's going to go that high? What do you think they have picked what? The Steelers? 25? I don't know, man. Najee Harris. Najee, that's right. He scored the first touchdown. He did. He also scored three. Do you know I won twenty dollars because he won the first scored the first touchdown yesterday? I didn't know. I that. bet on that. <laughs> this is a good bet. This is called an addiction. I, I want to go. I would. I would go with him or Devontae Smith. They scored the first touchdown. All right. Oh. Make sure we do this correctly. Wait. Hold on. Najee Harris. There we go. Danielle says we have picked twenty four and he ran. All over my Buckeyes. Yeah, he's amazing. He actually only had 80 yards on the ground. Oddly enough, I thought he had the ball. A ton. He did have some receiving yards. Yeah, he had 160-odd-some all-purpose all -purpose yards. But he had 80-ish rushing yards. We got uh, jersey number five. Five spots left. That's a double box break. We got two more jerseys in the room here. 37 and 42. Najee Harris. Jared, do you see Jared's personal? Yeah, it's on there. Jared, if you want to give me a box number, please do.
Uh, Jared says random, please. Okay, we have 12. We have 7, 10, and 12 left in the room. Um, Jared, if you want to... Jared, if you want to... Uh, we, this series all, goes all the way up to number 35, so if you want to pick a box number up to 35, you can. Um, or we could random the ones we have in the room. Your choice. It would take a while for me to type in all those numbers and then random those. The double break of the jerseys, five. Is that a different series? 32? Yeah, we could find 32, Jared. Let me put that in my little personal tab. Ah. 32. It's be tough to be this. Really? Uh, What's wrong, Jared? Now that I'm... Jersey five filled up. I just... All right. I've missed some, some items here. Oh, no. When you buy a personal, Jared, you can pick whatever box number you'd like. We keep it consistent because on the website, if you buy a personal and you want to just retail, you can pick a box number two. And if we have it, we'll send it to you. And if not, we'll just ship you the next one. Was double break for just helmets or a mix? Casey, great question. The last one that you were in, it looks like that was a double break uh, for uh, platinum helmet break number four. So two platinum helmet boxes. Two platinum helmet boxes. Okay. Casey Ravines. You're going to be good on the, the Jersey 5. Jersey 5. Uh, let me know what you'd like us to post next. Nathan, Janet, Evan, Tom Collins, James, Justin, Danielle. Uh, Jan Self signed up for a double. We have Janet Self for two spots. Yes. Yes, indeed. Jersey number 5. We have uh, 37 and 42. This is the jersey. Jersey. 37, 42 left in the room. Okay. Uh, you wanna you wanna sing single, double, trip? Let's do a sing. Let's do a sing. Dub. A dub. Quad. An octa. A penta. Yesterday we learned not a. It's not a penta. Double jersey break for break number five. Let's go. 37 and 42. Oh. I don't know why the computer makes that noise. I don't know either. It's like something's unplugging, but... It's almost concerning. Not, not unplugging. My goodness. Another headliner pull headed to the NFC North. What a night for the North. This is number five, C. Self. That's a great item. CC, Chris Carter. Minnesota Vikings custom jersey. That's beautiful. Tom Collins. Love that name. Do y'all ever mix items, say a double, but with one jersey and one helmet? Um, no. We just kind of, we have like loot crate breaks where we have multiple items in one box. If that, if that helps at all. Tom, nice hit, man. Congrats. Shakedown Nate says, live a little, Donnie. Don't be a Garrett. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Live a little. I don't are know why. Not, how are you not living right now? I don't know. How and, am I doing? And, and how do I not live? Yeah, how am I, I doing anything different than what you do? Don't be a Garrett. <laughs> don't be a grouch. That's like, you ever seen Dave Chappelle think about Oscar the Grouch? <sighs> no, I haven't. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. It doesn't sound good, though. Huh? Don't be a Garrett. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a block here, dude. That's just... 
Unnecessary. Next hit. Oh my god. Kansas City Chiefs! We're pulling headliners everywhere tonight. Box 42. We had Chris Carter in box one, and now Tyreek Hill in box number two, and it's going to Janet Self. Janet Self, the cheetah. Garrett. What, man? <laughs> Guys, big man over here, ladies and gentlemen. You all did it to him. You're crazy. After all I did for you last week. After all I did for you last week, this is how you treat me. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Uh, Jay Deem says thought four was single jersey and five was double. Yep, that's actually correct. We did four as a single, and number five was a double. We just did this. Uh, that was, I, I this was break number is, five. The problem is I, I didn't update the uh, the top of the screen. Oh. Come on, Garrett. Sorry, I'm just, I, I, I really try not to be myself, and it's hard to not be yourself. So <laughs> that's what that's what I, I went full Garrett mode on that one. <laughs> that's what I'm going to on me. I really start trying to be more of a Donnie than a Garrett. You don't want to be a Donnie. I, I, well, I took myself, you don't want to be a Garrett either, so I don't, I don't so know. We, what to do. we just got to change our personality uh, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What do you want me to be, Nate? What, what do you want me to be? You want me to be more a Nate? A Nate? Nate dog? All right, Nate. What do you want me to be? Please, no. Turn, turn, turn the <laughs> I just want to hear if you can sign, hear yourself pretty good. Okay. <sighs> All right. See, Cell oh, says, boom, the wife oh. is stoked, cheetah. Tom Collins, the framing ranges and prices. If you want to check us out, go to proframing.com. Proframing.com for all the framing prices. I don't know who Evan is, but he just called me a bum-bearded man behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so Minnie's already tomorrow. Is that what the bum-bearded man behind the camera said? Actually, he might be referring to me. Because I said that. But I have never had a beard. I have a genetic issue that I can't grow facial hair. Uh, so thank you for that, pointing that out, by the way. Uh, minis are in tomorrow, and a college full-size helmet series is tomorrow. Nate says, so butthurt, I'm literally laughing over here. You hurt people's feelings. I mean, yeah, I am butthurt, because I don't understand why I have all this disrespect. Nate, have I not pulled you heat before? I thought... I would be the bum baby face man. Okay, that's fair. I mean, that, I mean, it's, it's hurtful, but I guess it's baby face is not bad. What sort of turnaround time on the framing, if you know? See, self, uh, great question. I don't know off the top of my head. I wouldn't know off the top of my head. See, self, I would say about two weeks. I say we, we, we usually say about two weeks turnaround time. Nate, thank you. I do love you. Thanks. You didn't so mean much. that. I am not hearing you say that you love Nate. No, How you say it? Never. Why not? It's not genuine. That hurts. It hurts me. I love you. Alright. <laughs> thank you for vouching for me. I appreciate that. You can just throw the L word around. Why not? It's just not fair. E L E. E L E. Yeah, but. Uh, come on. E L E, sir. How does college work with guys playing in different NFL divisions in their careers? Jared, that is an excellent question. So the college helmet series is going to be, if the players are currently in the NFL, it goes to the team they are currently playing on. If they had a long career and they played a couple different uh, couple different teams. <laughs> I see that comment, Nate. Garrett's dancing. If they play on a couple different teams, it's the team they played with the longest. So we have the longest tenure option on those guys, all right? Uh, Jared, great question, though. Great question. G is the dude. There you go. Uh, Tom Collins says, what happens to the Bowman Chrome Jumbo Box? Number one, doesn't look like it's filling tonight, and I bought in. Tom, uh, if it doesn't fill tonight, it gets pushed back until the next break when we're live, and uh, the next break will be tomorrow afternoon at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, not Eastern uh, Pacific Mountain Time. We're at Central Standard Chicago Time. So primetime is the Cowboys. It's actually a 
Uh, Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin camo. I think he's referring to the seminal one, maybe, in the platinum. Oh. Well, I just gave away the headliner for the next mini helmet series. Prime time. Uh, so prime time is the Cowboys. The prime time would be, uh, yeah, Deion Sanders. Garrett, I'm new to this. I have yet to have you break something for me. I apologize for calling you a bum. <laughs> Evan, it's okay. Evan, it's all right. I appreciate the apology. All is good. Um, everything's fine. We have no spots taken in either break here. Uh, I'm working on, on updating them uh, as we speak. Um, the the answer to that question is uh, no. We Let's see if we, can, if we can fill up some more yeah. stuff. Sorry, we were just conversating. Oh, and uh, I've been doing my job, so that's on that's on me. Sorry, guy. I'll tell you what, Gary. All right, fair enough, Evan. Fair enough. Bye. My bad for uh, misinterpreting that. <laughs> hey, Evan, man. <laughs> Evan is not happy with you, Garrett. I don't even know what I did. Me neither. Ah, I know what it was. I was Garrett. Went full Garrett on it. You can't go full Garrett. I, I, it happened. It's tough. I didn't apologize for calling you a bum. I apologize for you not knowing me. That seems like a very weird thing to apologize for. Sorry you don't know me, bro. I'm sorry you don't know who I am. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, I got a, I got a bit. What? I lost the Camaro. Uh, Worst night ever. I feel sick. That is pretty fun. What's fun? It's fun. <laughs> Three spots left in Go Tango Go number five. Go Garrett Go <laughs> number five. Ah, that's good. Put a little poll in the chat. Do you guys think I look like Flat Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely, without a doubt. Do you guys look think I look like Flat Stanley? Yes or no? Absolutely. Put it in the chat because it's kind of screwed up. Absolutely, you uh, do. No doubt in my mind. Uh, that's great. That's good. That is. What they? How much they win that Camaro for? I think it's at one fifteen. Oh, like it, it hasn't sold out yet? No. What are you doing? Other than working. I don't know. I'm working. On it. It's true. Brother Bear? I don't know. Come on, guy. Do you want it or do you not want it? I want it. Doesn't sound like you want it. Doesn't sound like you do. It's okay. I mean, if you don't want it, actually, it's fine, guy. You've got some flat Stanley vibes. Is that good or bad? To put them on the stream. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, flat, flat Stanley vibes. Wait, let me try to do the thing. Oh, we'll wait for it to. Yep, perfect. Uh huh. Yep. It's called rosacea. I can't fix it. No, it's not because of that. It's because you, your facial structure. You look like flat Stanley. That seems ridiculous. To me. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Flat Stanley was a goat back in like elementary school. Used to read his books all the time. Getting flattened. What do you get flattened? I don't. I've never seen it. 
sneaking about and stuff? <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't sound like someone you want to be a role model after. Let's see it. Oh, look at a human version of Flat Stanley, huh? This man's like a teapot. Is that my laugh or your laugh? You? I sound like a teapot? I guess. I don't hear it. People are ripping us up today. Oh, man. I shouldn't have come to work today. <laughs> I don't feel good. Uh, Guys, thank you for another Fill in Our Platinum Helmet Series. Do you see my slack here? Uh, yes, sir. Sweet beans, Brother Bear. I did, I did. Go, Tay, go, number five. Raptor laugh? Is that bad? I don't know who laughed. We both laughed. I'm, I'm going to guess it was me, because I just feel like I'm... I did this. Dude, I don't understand how you can't see it. I can't. <laughs> this is be sad. That's funny. Oh, he's gone now. Do we have a box number? Box number 7, 10, 12. We got a personal as well. Uh, we'll go grab that personal right after we do this break. We have a personal for Jared Blaze. Jared Blaze, one of the best names in the break room. B-L-A-I-S. That's sick. My girlfriend's mad at me. That's not good. My Instagram comment got 20 likes. Rivaling her post. Selfish. That she, that's why she's upset? Subsetty spaghetti, my man. DJ Dilly Balls says, <laughs> go NFC East. Here we go. That's the most comments I've ever liked I've ever had. All right, guys. Good luck and thank you for for the next. Wow. Oh, JSA COA. JSA COA. Take a look at this. Philadelphia Eagles. Miles Sanders. That is nasty. William Ginley calls it. That's sick. Riddell Eclipse Speed Authentic. This is a headliner, right, Gary? Uh, I don't know if it's advertised as a headliner. It's not, but it's, it's, it's a hidden headliner. Yeah, hidden I, headliner. I think it's. The nice thing about that is it's going to be sick. it's going to be a uh, an auto that's going to increase in value. Good point. Uh, Definitely. And, you know, hopefully for him, no more Doug Peterson. So no more DP. Maybe able to use him a little bit better. No more Doug Peterson. He's hey, there we go. Billy Balls got his team. There Let's we go. go. Let's go. And my Billy Balls. DJ Billy Balls. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Headliner. That's beautiful. Nice now, hit. Hey, now that we got the producer in the room, we we gotta get that, we gotta get our what do you call soundboard going. Oh yeah. I'd like to hit that the air horn. <laughs> the air horn. <laughs> nice hit, William. Congrats, dude. Happy for you. Yep, sir. Yep, bye. Seven spots left. Let me run and grab this uh, personal. It was box number 32. 32 in Spanish is. I don't know. 30 dos. 30, 20 dos? Caught up in the middle of this. Nice, dude. All right. All right. Uh, C. Schuster says, not an Eagles fan, but man, those wings on the top of the helmet have always been dope. Respect. I agree with that. I agree with that. All right, Jared. Good luck, man. Personal. A personal is... When you go to the mystery box tab on the website and purchase a box 
for yourself. Now, when you do that, you have to click customer like this open live, give us a box number, and that is your personal. You get whatever comes out of the box. You do not have to worry about getting the divisions. You do not have to wait in the line for the breaks to start that you are involved in. And let's see what you hit in your personal. Oh my goodness. JSA COA box number 32 of 35. You mentioned that you looked up this individual's clothing line. And there was a lot of stuff that said what? Go take go. Say it again. Go take go. Go take go. We got a Packers. Speed authentic. Devontae Adams. The headliner hit. I'm not a Packers fan, but. As a personal Jared. Way to go, man. That's no an man, awesome Jared. Hit. Well done, well done. Jared. Might be a record for amount of headliners pulled in one night. Let's go, man. We did pull a bunch of headliners. Devontae Speed Authentic. For a guy that very well could go up in value with a Super Bowl win. Not that we want to see it, but it could happen. They're going to run into a good old Drew Breezy and my, my Saints. My Saints. Are you a Colts fan or are you a Bears fan or are you a Saints fan? Make, make up your I'm mind. I'm a Bears fan first, Colts fan second, and then I will cheer for Alvin Kamara. It's not even on your fantasy team technically anymore. Hey, 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 whoa, why don't you go be negative somewhere else, guy? Headliners. G, G, G giving off those Juju vibes. <laughs> Sorry, I like to have a good time. Corvette, Corvette. Guys, let me know if you'd like us to post anything else. We do have a jersey posted right now. Uh, we do not have a plan of how we could post another one of those. Maybe if you guys would like to run a uh, something else, guys, please let me know. G giving off those juju vibes. How about you give my struggling Steelers, Allen Robinson? You guys can have juju. Well, I would require both teams to sign those players. We can't like true. trade for them. That's true. Allen um, Robinson is no longer a bear, technically. Yeah, like te I mean, the technicality where he is. Uh, I would take juju though for the Bears. I mean, I would. It I hurts would do to that. lose a -Rod. I would Do that only because the Bears don't have a receiving core. Once we get rid, uh, once a Rod leaves, I'm, I don't have any. Unless we give him his money he deserves, which we won't, because we're not going to soft. We're not going to get him. We're not going to keep him. He's going to go to like the Patriots. Uh, I've, I've been seeing a lot Miami. Miami, disgusting. Because Miami could get Devonte Smith too. And be and Deshaun Watson. I know it would be. Oh my God, a Rob, Devonte Smith, Devonte Parker. Uh, Preston Williams. Are there other receivers? Yeah. Preston Williams is like their best receiver. He was out though this year. And he caught a lot of passes from Tua and Fitz Magic. I think to be honest, uh, before we can really talk about receivers, we may need to just like find someone who can facilitate the football. Because right now we don't have anybody who can do that really well at all. It's true. Yeah. Allen Robinson has had Blake Bortles. Nick Foles and Mr. Trubisky as his quarterback, so he definitely deserves better. Is that true? Preston's a good player. Preston Williams is a good player. Gar uh, Grayson, I agree. Alrighty. Guys, if there's anything else you'd like us to post, we can do so. We can do so. We can do that. Do so. that. You know he's got a really cool autograph? No. Derek, you're going to tell me. Derek Henry. Never seen it. Never seen it? I, can't, I can tell you that I have not seen it. I think we've had stuff from him in the past. I feel like I haven't been here. Uh, still can't believe that damn bird's helmet I was... I thought I was excited about my Jerry Rice helmet and Gronk jersey, but that tops them all. The four thousand I spent is worth it now. Hey, if it means that much to you, man, value-wise, we appreciate it. 
But we always love to see when guys hit their uh, hit their favorite teams. That is very important. Put up some solid wide receivers recently. Gallup, BS, BC, who's BC? Oh, BC Johnson. Gallup, BC Johnson, Preston, Rashid Higgins, all CSU guys. That's a uh, CSU would be. What's CSU? Wait. Colorado State? Yeah. Colorado State. Zeno played for Colorado State. Uh, that is, uh, that would be, Col that would be Palmdale by Ephraim. Part of the complete flat Stanley. Thank you, Shakedown, Nate. Appreciate it. What's w oh, wide receiver you. <laughs> I was like, what's WRU? Idiot. That's like Iowa's tight end, tight end you. That's correct. That would be Kittle, Kittle, Noah Fant, Hawkinson, Hawkins Sox, uh, Dallas Clark, Dallas Goddard. <laughs> I don't know. Did Goddard actually go to Iowa? No, I don't did. think he did. I don't think he did either. Uh, I don't know where he went. Well, we've got uh, there's three spots <coughs> left. Three spots That's left. Pretty exciting. Three spots left to jersey number six, so we can fill that up. Palm Dew. Still say Notre Dame is tight end you. Well, who do they have? Jeff Samarja. Tyler Eifert? Jeff Samarja played. He did. Does he know play for Colorado State? <laughs> Big UFC fights coming up soon, Gare. I know McGregor be McGregor some, some, and some bum, probably. Dallas Goddard. He's not a bum. I don't know who he is. I was just he's good. But I don't think he'll win. But who am I? McGregor will win. I think McGregor will win. Yeah. Oh. How many spots left here? They're filled. It's filled. Donnie is filled up. Closer Magic by Christopher Hannon. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Closer Magic, Chris Hannon, thank you. Uh, you know what I need to do is go grab a jersey box. Let me run and grab a jersey box quickly. We'll do jersey number six. Jersey number six. I'm just going to grab the top one off the uh, rack there. Forty-three. Let's do it, guys. Very uh, much thanks to you guys for helping us fill up another break here tonight. And again, guys, if there's anything else you'd like, if there's anything else you guys would like us to post for tonight, we can. If not, we look forward to some more stuff getting posted tomorrow. Two breaks tomorrow. Two breaks Thursday. I'm excited. Tomorrow's my first uh, dome softball game. Ten p.m. Ten p.m. Start for that. Never been so excited for anything in my life, probably. But that's just me. Shakedown Nate wants the AFC East, and Nate got the AFC East. Nice. 43. Guys, good luck. Here we go. Say we didn't do anything. Here we go. Here we go. See what we got. Forty-three. Good luck. Back.
back at COA, we have an AFC East. Nathan. Unbelievable. Nathan calls out the AFC East and pulls a Dwight Stevenson. Part of that uh, undefeated Miami Dolphins team, if I'm not mistaken. Dwight Stevenson. You would not be mistaken. Would not be mistaken if I were to say that. You would be correct. I am correct. There you are. Nice hit. Nice. Dwight Stevenson going to the AFC East for Nathan. And that is jersey break number six. Four, one, three, three, two. Okay. See, C. Schuster said, I went to high school with Austin Matthews, Spencer Rattler, Nico Mannion, Phase Adapt. <laughs> Phase Adapt. What does he do? Gamer. Well, he's a gamer for what game? I have no idea. Is he a Fortnite guy? No clue. Couldn't tell you, huh? I definitely don't know. Couldn't tell you. Uh, well, I, I can't. I can't tell. I can't say that I'm. I a don't phase follow guy. a lot of phase guys. Yeah. Just Bronny. Who's that? Just Bronny and Juju. Just Bronny. <laughs> Dwight Stevenson autographed jersey. Guys, will there be anything else for tonight? Please let me know now if you guys would like to do a personal. We'll do a uh, last call for personals as well before we sign it off here. And get ready for uh, for tomorrow. Get some more stuff for tomorrow. Uh, Kevin Finn says, Donnie, just wanted to let you know I got both Bowman Chrome orders. They seem to have shipped together. Okay, good news. Good news. All games, he's worth the FaZe Clan. He makes content with other creators and hangs out with rappers. That's big. That's big if true. Big if true. Anyone that hangs out with rappers is usually pretty important, in my opinion. Lost the internet on my computer, so give me a second. I just, just kind of squalid. All right. Adam says, What are personals? Adam, that's a great question. Uh, Jared, have a good night, man. Uh, personals are when you go on the website and you head over to the mystery box tab. And then from there, you can purchase a mystery box at full retail price, and you get whatever comes out of that box. So uh, no worrying about divisions, no worrying about waiting in line for uh, the next break to happen. Uh, you get whatever comes out of that box, and it, and it is open for you live on camera, Adam. Right now, we have Platinum Helmets. So who won that last one? That was Nathan. The Dolphins. The Dolphins. But yes. Yes, indeed. Palm Dale, come back to me. You know that one? No. Sucks for you. It's a jam. Very dirty song, though. T typical Afro Man music, but. Sick. <laughs> Thank you, Garrett. All right, guys. Looks like that's going to do it for tonight. Going to uh, going to sign it off. We're going to move forward. Let's see if Adam wants to buy a personal. Adam, if you're in for a personal, uh, let me know here. Oh, and Sean O'Malley. The UFC fighter is now in phase along with Bronny James. So weird to have pros in a gaming community. Yeah, I've seen that. I saw that Jay Ajay is a professional FIFA player now. Saw that too. He is 0-29. And, and in 29 games, has given up 160 goals. Um... So there you go. Chris M says, can you post one more helmet? Yeah, Chris, we can. If we get enough, uh, if you guys want to do another helmet, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Chris wants him. We got one so far. Chris is in. Guys, let me know if anybody else wants to jump into another full-size helmet break. We've got one ticker so far with Chris Morvell. Shakedown Nate says he's in. All right, looks like we can post another single box platinum helmet break. Let's do another single box platinum helmet break. I'll be right back with you guys. Got it.
Here, that single platinum helmet posted. Yeah, okay, give me a second here. Okay, dog. The internet's a little. And it's a little slow. Yes, sir. No problem. Dun, 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 dun. Go take go number six. Single box break is live. Go take go number six is live. Wow. Kansas basketball lost tonight to Oklahoma State. Kansas basketball ranked number six. Spurs up 10 on the Thunder. I thought the Thunder would win that game, to be honest. Um, I have no idea. Shakedown Nate says, what are your plans for the rest of the night, Don? Uh, it's closing in on 9.30, Central Standard. Um, what do I have to do? I don't think I have to do much. I mean, finish up here, go home and... Play video games, probably. No, I'm saying that. Try to win an Alvin Kamara jersey. Hmm. You haven't been able to find it on the uh, on the U on the on the uh, on the YouTube's on the eBay. You haven't been able to find it on eBay. No, I don't want to. I don't want a custom. Oh, you want? Oh, you want an authentic? I want a licensed one. Mm -hmm. But I found a really nice custom one, so I bid and I got outbid. Plans for the rest of the night. What am I going to do? Play play some games? I think. Let's go. I was playing C-Skull a little bit. Some COD? FIFA? What kind of games do you play? Um, what, are you, what are you into right now with your new gaming setup? My new gaming setup? I've been playing a lot of Hitman. Jeez. Amazing new, game. I I, uh, I saw an early early video of the new one. They're dropping Dude, Hitman 3. I'm trying to beat the second one before the, uh, before the third one comes out. It comes out January 30th. January 30th it comes out. We're back here. All right. Uh, Hitman, what were we talking about, Hitman? Three in. Yes, we were talking about Hitman. Three guys in for Go Take Go 6? Yes, sir. Um, what else? CSGO I've been playing. Nice. Hard, because people that play that game are really good at it. Uh-huh. Like, they're they're on a different level. Like, you think it's a first-person shooter, like, you just jump in and kill some people. They're really good at the game. Uh, another game called Valorant. It's kind of like the first first shooter. Okay. Gotcha. What games have you been playing, Garrett? Just PGA? PGA, a little bit of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. How'd you get that for Xbox? Isn't that a PlayStation 2 game? Uh, I mean, they remastered it. Oh, oh, oh. But yeah. 
Ah. Yeah, they remat. I mean, they didn't remaster it, but they like came out with a new one. Oh. Because I remember Battlefront Two. Oh, right. The yeah. ish. Yeah. For PS Two. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, the Star Wars Battlefront Two, which is a remake. A remake. Yeah, it's a remake. Um, a little bit Madden, not too much Madden. It's repetitive. Yeah, it's a huge eSport game. CSGO is dope alongside with Valorant. Those games, I've played both of them. I like Valorant a lot. I think Valorant is sweet. For a few guys that don't know, Valorant's another online kind of multiplayer computer game. It is uh, it is, it's pretty sweet. It's kind of like uh, Overwatch. Have you played Overwatch? Uh, I played, um, yes. It's kind of like Overwatch, Overwatch for PC. Uh, Danielle Rice says, Do you have any upcoming series with Steelers players as headliner hits? Danielle, I believe the next one, the Joe, we have a Joe Green camo in our next uh, mini helmet series. Joe Green camo in the next mini helmet series. Shakedown 8 says, love the PGA, especially the remastered. That PGA Tour 2K21. Mm, oh, that's what I'm playing right yeah, now. That's good one. Eight. Yeah, that's good one. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I've been rolling through the PGA. Justin Thomas on the cover? He is. I'm leading the uh, FedEx Cup by like 200 points. Did not play well in my last, my last round of, no? of golf. No, couldn't figure it out. What course? Can't remember. Are the... It, do you recognize any of the courses? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of like the TPCs are on there. TPC of Sawgrass. Yeah, probably most of like the TPC. TPC of Scottsdale. Yeah, Boston. TPC Boston. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they have all those. I don't know. There's a bunch of other like kind of weird. What I've noticed is like you have one match that's like pretty easy, and then the next one is like difficult, and then it goes easy and difficult. Really? Yeah. So like, there's sometimes I win by like like six strokes, and then there's ones where I lose by like. 11 because I can't figure out how to <laughs> but it's a little uh, you can't win them all no like in PG like Tiger Woods games you can win every event by 40 well you also could like track your shot and you can get you can get eagles on every freaking oh, hell yeah trusses on every that's part what it was fun it was fun playing Rogue Company on PC is basically a third player CS type of game where you have to buy weapons and items like C that's a cool that's a cool concept Rogue Company Rogue four spots left Four spots left? Just in case you're wondering. Four spots to go and another platinum helmet. Four spots to go. Um, other than that, uh, no, I have... Um, no Madden I, recently, huh? I played a little bit of Madden last night. Um, upgraded my Josh Allen to his full, full ability. Upgraded my Derrick Henry to his full ability. Um, got a Champ Bailey card. In a pack, kind of trash, but better than the corners I had. Um, Got to finish the fifty because I get a free, you get a free like full version of the fifty players. So the fifty greatest like Madden players or Madden like players to play in Madden. So I'm gonna pull the trigger on a ninety-five Deion Sanders. So, and then uh, they have the playoff. Uh, they have the playoff promo going on right now. Uh, and you get a free player once you reach a certain amount of stars. So I'll get myself a 95 DK Metcalf. Baller. 95 speed. Baller. So I'll put him uh, on the other opposite, opposite side of uh, Scary Terry. How is Terry in the game? Fast. That's all you need, right? Speed? Really, yeah. Yeah, it's really just speed. Like my linebackers have like 93 speed. I got like, uh, uh, I got Devin White. Montez and, Sweat? No. I got Dion. uh, Deion Jones, my outside linebacker Shaq uh, Shaq Barrett. Is he that good? He's all right. He's a ninety overall. It's not the best version of him, but if anybody plays Madden in the chat, please play Garrett. Uh, yeah, you'll probably kick my butt. I'm not it would be good. awesome though. I'm not very good at it. I, I would love playing. to watch that. I I like to play um, house rules more than uh, like regular games. So house rules, there's like you get a first down, you get two points or something. So you can play, you you play you, you score more points than like if you just like ran up and down the field and scored touchdowns. But do dibble dabble on the anyway. All right. You got, uh, Four spots to go, man. Three spots to go now. Three spots to go. Who's gonna close it out? Who wants to close it out and give us a box number? What? Shakedown Nate says rather beat him in PGA a gentleman's game. <laughs> I, I I feel like I, I have a little bit better shot at beating somebody in PGA. Probably not. Let's no. say you're better at Madden. You think I'm better at Madden? Mm -hmm. Try my best. 
speed and height, but man, you put X factors on certain players, you can be gross. I have a 97 overall team on Xbox. Already? Come on, Canyon. Bro, Step yeah. up to Garrett. Uh, I don't want. I have a 91 overall. Canyon, team. what's your gamer tag? Garrett, let's write it down. We'll put the game on stream. All right, fine. I'm 90. How much are you spend on a game per day? Can yeah, what are you games? dropping on that game? How many coins? Yee. That guy's buying. He's, Mega boxes. He's buying. He's buying hundred dollars worth of points every time he have, stops, steps on the. Oh my God. Canyon, please play Garrett. We'll put it on the stream, and if you win, we'll give you fifty dollars in break credit. Up to a hundred. Depends on how bad you beat me. We'll play for. We'll play for that. That sounds awesome. I. I think I, I'm down. I'm down to... Uh, there it is. Small X, large M, large H, small X. Now, I do want to preface. Yep. When someone got X's in between their initials and the gamer tag, they're usually pretty good. They're cold-blooded. They're usually a pretty good gamer. Well, I, what does he have, an Xbox or a... Xbox, you already said Xbox. You said Xbox? Small X, M, H, small X, toxic. Wow. I don't get anything if I win. It's just, no, you get... It's more to just like... How about Canyon has to give you one of his better players? Uh, can, can you trade? trade? Yeah, can you, you trade, can trade, yeah. Canyon, you got to give him uh, 96 overall Randy Moss. Is that a thing? It is a thing. How much is that card worth? Uh, I feel like 310 Maybe a little $310? 310,000 coins. Oh. What does that equivalent... equivalent like, well, what is that equal to in, in cash? monies? In monies, I have no idea. Because you can like buy coins from like third party. I saw that. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Yeah. But then you can also get banned for doing that. You can get bans for doing that. That's true. Um, I don't know how much that cost. I, I, you have too much faith in me, dude. I have a lot of faith in you. I have a ninety-one overall team. Do you write down his gamer tag? Write down the gamer tag. Uh, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know the phone number. We'll or, put that. Uh, we'll put that on the whole stream. That would be an amazing, amazing video. X, M, H, X. That's fair, right? Canyon. If Garrett beats you, you got to give him Randy Moss. If you beat Garrett, you get $50 in UA Live break credit. I'll play anybody in FIFA. I'll play someone in FIFA if we can get this organized. We can just do a whole stream of gaming. All of our, uh, all of our participants. He's 361,000. I wanted to be a pro FIFA player once. Still a chance. I guess I haven't given up that chance. I mean, JHI won a Super Bowl and then became a... Trash FIFA player. I mean... I mean, he probably still beat me. He's still a FIFA player, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Professional, yeah. Yeah. To lose 29 straight games? She just haven't found her groove yet. Come on, Jay. Man, I better gr start grinding freaking... You play 85? Would you play 85 in FIFA? What is... Oh, I would play... I would play Chad Johnson. That'd be fun. I would enjoy that thoroughly. I think I have a chance to beat Chad. I've watched Chad Johnson play on stream. Yeah? He's pretty good. He's very good. But I would definitely play Chad Johnson. I would be very scared to play Chad Johnson. No, I wouldn't. Yes, cards, I would. You buy at night because people want cards sold, so they buy. Can you? Can you? We're going to have to get in the lab together. Get like, in the you lab, seem, dude. You seem to understand the game more than I do. I get just, some scrims. I am. I am. I play at night, and I feel like it makes sense. I've seen that before on on, on other uh, on other platforms. Other people saying to buy, you know. Woo! I got his info. Alrighty. I've got a decent understanding and I'm lost. <laughs> Let's try to close out this break. Three spots left. Who's going to close? We've got boxes 7 and 12 remaining. I know what I'm doing when I get home. I guess I'm just going to start playing the sweaters that play at 1 o'clock in the morning. Playing sweaters? Uh, Matt, that's a fantastic question. I have no idea. He, he was 
good on the Bears, right? Uh, he didn't do as what the Bears wanted him to do. That's why they got rid of him. I wouldn't say he was bad on the Bears. I mean, he's really good now. I, I don't know. I yeah, I, I, I do use my head. That is, that is my number one source for, uh, for, for card price data. Um, but I just... Leonard Floyd is good, though. He's very good. Um, I don't know what happened. The Rams just paid him more money. Right? It's possible. Yeah, coaching, to be honest, I mean, he did have to go through at least two or three defensive coordinators. Big Fangio? Yeah. And then... I think they also put him into coverage more, way too much, as a Bear. I feel like they do that with everybody. Well, I mean, when you have Robert Quinn and Khalil Mack playing coverage, that's why Chuck Pagano retired. Stupid. All right, Kenny, I'm going to try that before I play you. He played him for a 94 overall card. I need it. Just don't give me David DeCastro. I already have that card. Who's that? He's a right guard that I, I pulled an extra large present in the Zero Chill, which is a Christmas promo. Okay. So they're like super rare. And it turned out it, they gave us guard with the bl- black and yellow freaking present. And a lot of people were upset. Yeah. Because they dropped the 95 Elm Kamara. So a lot of people were like, oh, it's going to be gold and black. It's going to be Elm Kamara. No. It was David DeCastro. And you, then. Were you mad? I was pissed, dude. You because went? the black and silver present. Was Bo Jackson, and that ah. card is like disgusting. So my my offensive line is your offensive line is good. It's, it's decent. It's alright. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. No, I. He's still pissed. <laughs> I just I you know I think I put some I put some coin down for that some price yeah. down to try and pull those presents. All right, uh, we're almost there. Donnie. Cool. Got two more people to buy in. William. Christopher Hannon. Looking for one more. One more. We got one more spot. Yes. One more spot to go. Go, Tay, go. Man, I better use my freaking training get some X-Factors going on my players. I am. Oh. <sighs> I'm nervous. Why? I don't know. Don't be nervous, G. Canyon, I'm going to look that up. I I appreciate your... Uh, insight. Insight, yeah. I've also seen, like, if you do all the sets, and then you, you sell those card sets, and then you do the sets again, and then you cut. You lost me, Bram. Yeah. I did that for the... For the uh, what you call it? For the uh, most feared, I like did that. I did oh, the. Will these be up tomorrow or after tonight? It'll be up. To, it'll be up tomorrow, JD. I um. They'll be up tomorrow, before the noon break. Yeah. You still got three spots left in here. Yeah, hold on. I'm just. It just filled up. I just. Um, oh, it's full. Yeah, I just haven't updated your sheets there. Seven and twelve. Do we have a box number? Boxes seven and twelve. What are you guys thinking? Thank you guys for the fill. Chris Hannon, Evan, DJ, Billy Balls, Shakedown, Nate. Let's do it. Number 12. 12, 12. We got another Madden coming. Uh, I like to safety lurk personally. I, I, I used to. I last year I was a Mike Backer uh, user, but this year I'm using a safety user. Uh, but yeah, the hit six and fumbles are, are pretty disgusting. So I, I'll definitely go conservative, ball carrying against you. Um, I'm, I'm excited about this, Garrett. I'm I I I'm, I'm super scared. Don't be scared. I am. It's a video this game. guy has a 97 overall team. Uh, he's, he's all talk. He's got like a 99 Sam Mills. His Dion's probably got 99 Jason. speed. I'm in trouble. Fine. Platinum Helmet Break is going to the Los Angeles Rams. It is the Rams Passing Yards Leader inscription out of the University of Purdue, Jim Everett. 
Jim Everett going to the NFC West for William Ginley. Willie G. Billy Balls. Not bad. All right. All righty. Guys, thanks so much for all the support for the UA Live break room for tonight. Did a bunch of platinum helmets. Did some jerseys as well. We have two breaks tomorrow. 12 p.m. Central Standard, 8 p.m. Central Standard. Two breaks Thursday, a break Friday, two Saturday, two Sunday. We're going to get some more stuff posted for um, get some stuff posted for tomorrow. We're going to have a new, new mini helmet series and a new college full-size helmet series to go along with the Platinums and the jerseys. Guys, thank you very much for all the support for us here at Ultimate Autographs. Garrett, the producer for tonight. Garrett, thank you for helping us out. No problem. Thank Guys, thanks for... Uh, for, for the fun night. It was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed this a lot. It was, yeah, it was great. Good. So we're going to sign right off right there, everybody. Thank you guys very much yet again for, for helping us fill up that final Platinum Helmet Series. Until tomorrow, I want you guys to uh, have yourselves a great night. Everybody take care. And uh, we will see you guys at uh, 12, 12 p.m. tomorrow afternoon with me. Hopefully you can do some cards tomorrow, too. So take care, guys. We'll see you very soon.